It's Halloween soon. I'm going to tell you about the costume I put together. Initially, I wanted a group costume that I could do with my friends. Unfortunately, it didn't pan out. Uh, we had planned to, to do it all together, and then we didn't really talk about it until it was too late, you know? So what we were going to do is we were going to go as gangsters, like 1920s gangsters. Think zoot suits. I wanted a blazer with a big old lapel and, and collar, kind of big. Um, I also wanted big old um, shoulder pads to give it that very square look that you get in like the the cartoons are very exaggerated um, renditions of zoot suits and stuff like that. Uh, I understand that my costume is not historically accurate. I get that. <laughs> so I wanted the blazer with the shoulder pads and all of that fun stuff. And then I also wanted a waistcoat, double-breasted waistcoat uh, is what I ended up deciding on. And then big old high-waisted pants that were like wide leg and all of that kind of spawned because I had this hat. This year, 2019, I went to Denver Comic Con as a version of Agent Carter, but I decided I didn't just want to go as her, I wanted to go as her as someone else. I decided I wanted to do a crossover as well, so I decided I wanted to go as Peggy Carter as Cinderella, or I wanted to combine the two. So instead of doing the royal blue color, I did this very light blue, kind of had like a purple tinge to it, color with a white fedora and my, my blonde hair. And uh, no one got it. So I had this hat, this white fedora. A fedora is a hat with a wider brim. Think Indiana Jones. Well, all of it kind of spiraled from having this hat and wanting to do more things with it. I had several different patterns for several different types of trousers and waistcoats and stuff like that, but none of them were right. None of them really screamed to me what I was thinking in my head, so I, I had to kind of improvise, I guess. Um, there was a blazer. He ended up cannibalizing that. As most of you know, I don't uh, really follow directions um, with patterns and stuff. <laughs> so I kind of just took it all apart, um, added length where I thought it needed length, added width where I thought it needed width, particularly in the lapels, and uh, I went with that. With the waistcoat, I had a pattern that I liked, but it was too small. Fix certain parts of it. It turned out all right, but it took probably a lot more time and effort than if I would have just followed the pattern. Now I know. Uh, the biggest issue I did have in constructing the whole thing was finding the proper material. My initial plan was for a white fabric with really thin um, black pinstripes. So it was mostly white but with black on it and I wanted it to be of a thicker material so that it could be worn whether it was warmer or colder because Colorado is kind of bipolar when it comes to um, changes in temperature. I wanted to be able to wear it whether it was hot or cold. Um, the fabric that I found, however, is on the thinner side, which is a bit upsetting, but what are you going to do? It is 100% cotton, so it's also just a different material altogether than what I was initially going for. So once I had the whole outfit together, or the whole outfit together in my head, I had to decide on shoes. And the shoes, I had I had options. I had so many options. I had a pair of five inch heels that I'm like, yes! And then I had a couple of others. I had a pair of heels that were more um, 
era appropriate. What are they called? Saddle shoes. Ooh, my bad. Saddle shoes that are all the same color. Um, and then I also had a pair of flats, like ballet flats, that were similarly saddle shoe flats. But they have, instead of being like white and black, the, the um, stereotypical saddle shoe, it's um, like this cream color and blue. I wasn't sure about those, but then I showed them to one of my friends and she's like, this would be perfect, you need to do it. Um, so that was an option as well. And then also I have a pair of manky white Converse that I could wear that I kind of just threw into the pile in case. I made the whole thing. I picked all of the patterns. I cut everything out. I sewed it all together. Uh, so if there are any really flaws, <laughs> that's all on me. Um, and I'm still deciding on the shoes and what I'm going to do with my makeup. I, I'm still trying to decide if I want to go with a like a burgundy lipstick or if I want to do a classic red. I feel like the, the classic red, the uh, victory red color, is more 40s than, than what I want, but I don't know how well burgundy is going to go with it. Um, so without further ado, I'll show all of that sped up footage. <laughs>
that that was my costume. I'm so excited and you gotta see the final look and everything. One thing that I thought I had accounted for, which turned out I hadn't accounted for as much as I liked to think I did, was the fact that Colorado is a fucking bitch sometimes. Monday and Tuesday, it snowed. It snowed so much. Um, thankfully, I didn't really have anything planned, so it wasn't like it ruined my plans or anything, but it did make it really difficult to get around and do stuff. Not helped by the fact that I spent the entire day of Halloween at work, so I didn't really get to do much. But when you spend this much time on a costume, you kind of want to show it off. I think I looked cute, so there's that. Hopefully next year I'll have something to do where I'll be able to show off my outfit. So I have no idea what I want to go as next year, but thankfully I have a whole year to decide and um, plan and do all that fun stuff. In between now and then, um, I do plan on going to at least one Comic-Con, so even if I decide on something, I'm not going to be totally screwed if I decide to, to do something else at the last minute. Hopefully by next year I will have uh, better makeup skills so I actually can, can do something wow worthy on my face. I also hope to have better uh, sewing skills or, or skills on um, putting together an outfit so that I can do something amazing and uh, something that people will actually get because a lot of my costumes most people don't. I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed putting it together. Uh, I'm still learning on, on how to do stuff like this, but uh, I'm having fun, surprisingly. I have no idea what the next video is going to be about, but I'm sure it'll be fun. Um, fun for me at least. Who knows about you? Anyway, should be fun regardless of what it is. Uh, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later. <laughs>